Republicans. Each GOP debate holds ever more weight. Anchor of Fox News Sunday, Chris Wallace is in D.C. with his reaction to last night's late night debate. He'll also be moderating the debate this coming Thursday right here on Fox News Channel. Any game changers last night, Chris, from your mind? No, it was a good debate, though. It was a very interesting debate. I think it was helped by the fact that there were only six candidates on the stage, so you got a little more interaction among them, even those who were trailing in the field. They, the, uh, the field obviously went after Newt Gingrich, who's the new front runner. Uh, they, he took some hits, but he also delivered some. You know, I guess it, it certainly isn't a key issue, but I think the most memorable moment from this will be the way Mitt Romney offered to bet $10,000, the way you or I would say, <laughs> I'll bet you a buck on that. Right. And, and what uh, about you know, that, to, Chris? I mean, does that stick around to hurt him? Well, I, look, I, is it going to make or break his candidacy? No, but it wasn't helpful. It was a self-inflicted wound. And, you know, it, it just sort of says at a time when if people are really squeezing and hurting, uh, I don't know that I've ever said, heard anybody say, I'll bet you $10,000. I mean, I've oh, heard come people on. say, I'll you bet and you a dollar or a million dollars, but not $10,000. <laughs> yeah, that one rolled off his tongue in, a, in an interesting way. Yeah, it should be. In, now, what do you think Thursday night is really Mitt Romney's last chance to try to really land a jab? What can he do to make a big difference against a current frontrunner who is Newt? Well, you know, the, first of all, I wouldn't say it's his last chance. It's his last chance in a, a debate, debate before right. Iowa. But, you know, this is going to be a long campaign, and I suspect it's going to go on uh, into the spring. Uh, you know, I think that, that Romney has to decide what his strategy is, because he seemed a little conflicted. At certain points, he didn't seem to want to go after him, and then George Stephanopoulos, one of the moderators on ABC, kind of pushed him a little bit, and he took a couple of shots at Gingrich. But he didn't seem quite to know what his strategy was. And, and it is a, it's a tough question because Iowa voters typically don't reward going negative. Uh, but it seems to me either you're in or you're out. And uh, he didn't seem to be quite either. What do you think is a big question for Governor Rick Perry, who's going to be a guest on your show this morning, along with Senate, uh, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, of course, talking about the big uh, tax cut, uh, the payroll tax uh, battle that's upcoming. What do you think is a big question for Governor Perry this morning? What did you think when Mitt Romney said, I'll bet you $10,000? <laughs> that's a good yeah, that's one. That's a good one. Hey, Chris, let me yeah, ask well, you. I, I got to say, I, nobody's ever said that to me. I don't, I don't know what I would have said. Yeah, yeah you and kill me don't bet $10,000. I just want to give you a chance, if you wanted to respond to what a morning host said about you on Friday, said that you loathe Mitt Romney, came out of left field for a lot of folks. Did you want to respond at all to that allegation? You know, I... I it, some some people say, and I, and I will take this advice: don't punch down, uh, don't respond uh, to, to folks uh, that are, are, are silly and aren't worthy of a response. Uh, it isn't true. I suspect he knows it isn't true. I think he's trying to get in a fox with a network that gets higher ratings than he does. I'll leave it at that. Fair enough. All right, Chris, we will be watching your show, of course. It'll be interesting to see you interview uh, Governor Rick Perry. Yeah. So thanks so much. Uh, yeah, listen, and I'll bet you $10,000 on that. <laughs> I wouldn't take that bet. I, I don't have it. Yeah, we don't, we don't have that. She's there good for go. it, though. <laughs> thanks, thanks yeah, Chris. Check your local listings for Fox News Sunday.